Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be sharing with you a easy crock pot meal that will be done after we get back from church. So that will make it a lot easier on me. My husband is a licensed minister and we have five kids. So um, he is usually very busy at church and I am busy with the kids. And by the time I come home, the last thing I want to do is prepare food. So I'm going to start being more intentional about that. It would be so nice to just have food ready when we get home. So it is before church right now and I'm going to go ahead and throw together this beef stew and cornbread um, for after church. So it is less work for me later. And on top of that, I decided that I should start doing more freezer friendly meals on a regular day basis so I can double the meals and um, have one for now to eat and one for in the freezer later. I think that that sounds like it will make my life so much easier if I do that for a month. Maybe I will have a month's worth of freezer meals in the freezer. So we will see how that goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into this recipe and share with you how I make it. And hopefully it will give you an idea of what you can make your family for after church as well. Okay, so first of all, let me show you guys what you will need for this recipe because a lot of times I will look at new recipes and see all the ingredients and things that I've never heard of or see that the ingredients consist of like 15 things long and I would be like, no. So let me show you guys what you all need for this recipe. It's actually pretty easy. Um, so I got this already chopped up um, stew meat, beef stew meat, and I got two of them because like I said, I'm going to be doubling this recipe. And I also got, um, it calls for th like regular sized potatoes, but I'm going to be using these little potatoes and just cutting them in half or in quarters. And you also need some carrots, you need some celery, you need an onion, and you also need some spices. You need some bay leaves. I did not have these, so I went ahead and picked these up. You also need some thyme and, and some rosemary. Um, you also, it also calls for seven cups of beef broth. This is broth base and seasoning. And so this makes 56 cups and it was the same price as already made like four cups of regular broth in like the container. And to go with our beef stew, I'm going to be doing some of my favorite Famous Dave's cornbread mix. This is the best in a box cornbread mix that you can get in my opinion. So like I said, I got two to double the recipe and I have a freezer bag for my meal for later. And then you also need um, some salt and pepper, which I need to get out. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my veggies and my onion and everything like that and prepping it to go ahead and throw in the crock pot.
So now that all of my veggies are chopped and my seasonings are added, I am just going to separate half of this mixture into a freezer bag so I can add the stew meat on top of that and write the date on there and save it for next time. So now that I have my stew in the crock pot and on a timer ready to cook, I am going to move over to making the um, cornbread and this is really simple and what I did was I cooked it and then I took it out of the oven when it was done and then before I left for um, church I just put it back in the oven just to keep it warm and make it so I didn't have to cover it up, up or anything and that made it really easy. this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I'd really like to hear some of your favorite crock pot or Sunday meals let me know down in the comments and I hope you guys have a very blessed rest of your day